a staple food in sub-Saharan Africa. Cassava is an integral source of carbohydrates for millions of people in Uganda. Biochemists at a public research institution are now adding value to the crop beyond just using it as food source. We are looking at using cassava to produce products with a zero environmental footprint. One of these products is this plastic. The material is biodegradable and they claim that it's free of any chemicals that would harm the environment. Uganda has previously considered burning non-biodegradable plastic bags, locally known as Cavera, mainly because they are damaging to the ecosystem. So what we have decided to do is to provide an alternative to what the Cavera was, and that is in the biodegradable plastic bag. Now this biodegradable plastic bag, we have to make it from our local materials. And this means that apart from uh, saving the environment, we are also saving the economy. The scientists explain that the process that starts at harvesting in the garden takes about 48 hours in the laboratories. From the cassava, they extract starch, which is the main component of the final product. Right now, I'm actually characterizing starch from one of the cassava varieties that has been grown at the institute, and I'm trying to find out whether it has attributes that can make very good bioplastic. And if this final product is disposed back into the garden, they say it can rot into the much-needed manure for crops in less than a month. While this biodegradable material is still at the trial stage in these government laboratories, researchers expect to begin mass production in two years' time. They hope to start with shopping bags, mostly for retail stores and supermarkets. While the plastic from cassava has been welcomed by environmental activists, it does have some limitations. For instance, because of its biodegradable form, it can't be used under earth for piping. However, the scientists remain hopeful that if widely adopted, especially for domestic use, like shopping bags, it will go a long way in saving Mother Nature by using locally available resources. Hilara Isiga, CCTV, Namlonge, Central Uganda.